they said you were the problem, so you removed yourself, yet they still got problems. Also, they're still talking about you. Um, let's talk about it. First of all, welcome in, welcome back. What's up, what's good, what's happening? Um, yeah. Let's pull some cards on this because I want to make this quick and short, but like... We're going to do a Celtic cross here. Current energy, Seven of Cups. Incoming, Three of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Uh -huh. There's a group of people that... Hold on. Foundation, Ace of Wands recent past, movement, knight of pentacles, and death, crownies blocked, six of swords, not you, but somebody woke up and chose violence, and they continue to do it, but they are not like, they want violence towards you. And they continue to... This is vengeful. This is that bitter energy. Temperance in the near future. You cut someone out because it wasn't moving forward. At all. Period. Point blank. Even today, you still have some questions. Like, why would they do that? How could they do that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, not blah, 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 but et cetera. With the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands, this is a group of people at work, in the family, in the, it's a friend group here. Um, I feel like you have closed this door and you're moving on. There's a part of you that might not know. You feel disconnected right now from your guides. It's just because you've got so much going on in the physical and in your emotions that your your antenna is underworking because you've got other things overworking. You have a capacity, right? Um, but in the near future, things are going to start balancing back out with the healing that needed to take place. And that could have been a while. Something I think you closing the door, it was a long time coming with the movement of pentacles. It was a long time coming. This could this screams family. I mean that's work though too. How many people talk about how they don't like their job but then they don't apply for anywhere else? They'll talk about it, but they don't actually do it. Versus the people that do. You're at that haven't filled out the application yet. Or you have and you're just waiting to hear back from somebody. You have. You're just waiting to hear back from somebody. And again, this could be um, you speaking with angels and ancestors and spirit guides or even just your higher self, right? Meditating on what do I do? What happens next? Like the universe at the bottom of the deck here. That's the world card. That's the end of a chapter. The death and the world card are the two game over cards for me no second chances do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars go straight to anywhere but here you don't gotta go home but you can't stay here get off my grass knight of pentacles death universe wow enough was enough a long time ago justice yeah you did yourself justice by cutting this person out I also feel like um, that's a lot of major arcana here. There is karma involved in this situation. Um, your cards are positive. You've done the work. It was hard to do this. It was hard to leave that job. It was hard to walk away from family members. It, it's hard. But it was breaking your back. It was too much. And the divine supported you 
through all of this. Look at all that major arcana we've got. Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, the fixed energies, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, sorry, uh, Sagittarius on the board. You are the star of the show. You are angelic. There's no doubt. These are the two angels for me. Oh, and strength. And the universe with the star in the same reading? That screams stardom. Fame, celebrity. I'm hearing influencer. Renowned. Aww. A group of people in the home. You're going to be mind blown. Someone here. You're following your dreams. You're doing what you're. I love this. Oh, so the very people holding you back are the people you had to cut out so that you could actually have the future you want to have, live the life you want to live. Because they can't just be happy for you. That's conditional love. They love you conditionally. The condition is do what they say. Live how they want you to live. And then they'll love you. And then they'll be proud of you. That's not fucking love. I'm going to calm down. I should go touch some grass after this. Um, <laughs> Aquarius energy with the star. Aquarius and Sagittarius. Woo, that's intense. Nine of swords. They feared this. Their worst nightmare is that you no longer fall for their crap. Believe the narrative that they fed you. Ooh, I did not like that I just heard that. Spe that king of pentacles. This could be your father, this could be your partner, this could be your boss. Whoever it is that feels superior to you is kind of what I want to say. Somebody that feels like they're better than you. That's the kind of superiority. It, it's, I'm better than you. Just the fact that you would say that says that you're not. <laughs> but okay. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, four of cups. They don't like it. It's like they saw your potential. They see that, I don't know, people are more drawn to you than them. Or you have the universe supporting you. Or you're just lucky, whatever. Um, and they're not. Um, whatever it is. Oh, I heard one of the seven. One of the seven deadly sins. Anyways, what's not even? Don't... That's so deep. <laughs> Let's not. Someone is at my door. What? It was just some mail. Um, the emperor was at the bottom of the deck, though. This, see, this, they felt like they were authority to you. Like they own you. They own you. Oh, father energy? Maybe, like, a parent? What? Own you? No. You, you own... Delusional much? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, exactly. You are independent. You're a higher ranking than... Whoever this king or spirit in this deck of pentacles is, you're higher ranking than them. I don't think they like that. Maybe they weren't counting on that? There's somebody here. Oh, yeah, because this is the knight, the child of pentacles, to the father of pentacles. Or just a masculine energy, right? That's man of the house, all that, right? Heart of Swords, Queen of Swords, you spoke your truth and cut this person out. You already said what you needed to say. And this was final. There's no Eight of Cups here. Potential of going back. There are major endings where there is no reviving this. Do not resuscitate. Got 
have DNRs on this X. Um, excommunicate, whoever you excommunicated. This doesn't feel like a relationship. If it was, it's somebody that had you in a really toxic third party situation, but like, <laughs> even your exes that like, other things were made more important than you all the time. I feel like you've had a series of relationships like this in your life. That's why you're, I, uh, essentially you don't fit in. You might not know it yet, but you stand out. So there are people that are going to be jealous and envious and the evil eye and the, all that crap and try to convince you not to have the confidence so that you can, you know, whatever. But the moment you do, you claim your independence, you call, you cut the tie, you claim your independence, your sovereignty, and you call back all your power, transmuted, healed, there's so many ways you can do that. Uh, I just heard, I think it's Sia that sings Unstoppable. She's unstoppable today or some shit like that. Unstoppable. And it just keeps repeating that word. I think that's like the whole chorus. The magician. You are magical. <laughs> You are spiritual. You are gifted. You, you are done listening to the people that want you to be small because you are not. You're done believing the narrative that they fed you. And you are owning who you truly are, whether they believe it, like it, condone it, love you or not. Because it's not love. Remember, that's not love. That's conditional. Eh, wrong, try again. The magician, that's insane. With the six of wands. <coughs> they don't like that. <coughs> Kick rocks. The magician landed in reverse when I started coughing too. I know you saw that if you didn't rewind like 10 seconds. We think you're sneaky, but you're not. I can shuffle the cards and still have victory as the overall underneath it all energy. So, and if you don't notice when I shuffle, I grab from the bottom and I toss them to the top. So when something is still at the bottom, even if I only shuffled it once, how is it still at the bottom after I shuffled even just once? Talk about being magical. That victory is sticking around. It's not going anywhere. Even when things come in to shake it up, it's still there. Believe it or not, it is what it is. Two of Wands. Decisions, decisions. Essentially, you just don't know what this person's going to do next. They are unpredictable, and that means unstable. That is a spiritual threat. It's a trap. And look who's peeking out. Make the wrong decision. That's what he wants you to do. Knowingly making the wrong decision because he's trying to stand in the way of your Ten of Pentacles, your legacy, what's meant for you. Fuck that. The thing is, you're intuitive. So the moon card, what they think is casting illusions, what they think is casting illusions, is not. It's not. But the divine, this energy, is gonna make them believe, have them holding on to the idea that they're gifted and it fucking worked. Oh my God. Until the ball drops and then I just heard, how do you like me now? That song about now that I'm on my way, something about I'm here, I made it here today. Um, does it drive you crazy hearing me on the radio? How do you like me now? That is not even close to how it actually goes, but you get the drift, right? 
the only person making bad decisions right now is this individual, and what they're trying to do is project bad decisions onto you. It's like they're trying to mind control you into doing something stupid, but you're not stupid, and you're not going to do it. Um, you are, I, I don't know.